Hello guys, this is Code in Code and in this lecture we are going to solve this problem for us queries taken from CSCS range queries section, okay? So the problem statement is quite easy. You are given a 2D grid of size n cross n and you are given q queries of the form x1, y1, comma, x2, y2. Basically this, uh, this defines a range of sub grid that is inside that grid and you have to find the sum of the integers in that subgrid okay for example if i show you this with an example so this is the grid okay and you have to find the answer of the query 2 to uh, comma 4 4 so basically i'm uh, i want to get the range sum of this subgrid okay answer would be 4 of course so that is what is intended uh, to get the answer from you so this is the problem statement now let's move on or uh, the next thing is expected time complexity so expected time complexity for this problem uh, for each query is constant actually you'll be able to answer each query in constant time now next thing is prerequisite you should have the knowledge of prefix sum so you can see that we will be solving this problem using prefix sum and uh, we'll extending the knowledge of prefix sum to solve this problem actually and you'll learn how using prefix sum you can answer uh, 2d uh, range sum queries okay so now how will solve this problem now that we know what is expected time complexity and uh, what are the prerequisites let's see how we'll solve this problem so for that we need to do a pre-processing of course you know to prepare prefix sum we need to do pre-processing so we'll prepare prefix sum from left to right and then in the next step we'll prepare prefix sum from top to bottom okay so after these two steps we will have our array ready prefix sum array for 2d queries ready and then using that array basically this grid will transform into that and using that we'll be able to answer the queries in constant time so let's see how we will do that now before we move on to the solution for all those who want to become a software developer or have just become software developer unacademy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live some of uh, some of the shows that are going live soon on an academy are hiring updates in startup and major tech companies eligible criteria and how to apply for them live mock interview sessions pre-placement talks where hr from top companies come and talk about their hiring processes top 20 questions which are asked in interview and how to solve them weekend projects which would make your resume stand out in the crowd and also live journey of fellow coders working in fan companies and many more shows like that you will also have an option to interact with industry leaders on the platform and get a chance to take part in online mock interview to sharpen your skills and get real-time feedback. You get all of this and much more for a nominal fees of 999 for an entire year. With my code, you can get the same at 899. This is a must-have subscription for people who want a career as a software developer. It's one of the shows where Shashank Mishra, who is a data engineer at Amazon, will talk about interesting weekend projects that you can take up for making your resume stronger. He will be coming up live every Sunday at 9 p.m. and he will be hosting a series in which he'll teach you all about interesting weekend projects. You can find my code in the description of the video and other relevant links. So let's get back to our lecture. So now let's do the first step which is pre-processing prefix sum from left to right. So this is the input. What we'll do for each row we'll pre-process them. We'll basically f uh, convert each row into prefix sum, right? So we'll process from left to right. So here you can see from left to right I've created prefix sum for first row, for second, for third, fourth and fifth, right? So pause the video and check it out uh, and let's move on to step two. Now after converting it, uh, after performing the first step, this is the input array right and now we have to pre uh, perform the second step which is prefix sum from top to bottom so now it will become one 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 two and two right that is exactly what you see here for each column we'll prepare prefix sum from top to bottom now it will be one two two four and five right one two two four and five and so on so each column will prepare like this so if i show you the code of this here you see the total number of queries are 2 into 10 power 5 so of course you need to answer them in constant time right so if i show you the code here you see i'm reading the input right running a two nested loop uh each time reading the input and if it is equals to star uh it will be initialized with one otherwise zero right so basically this is given in this form so uh star represents one dots represents zero that is exactly what i'm doing here after that i'm preparing this uh prefix sum from left to right right current cell is a uh, 
previous cell value is being added to the current cell basically when you're pre pre for, uh, preparing prefix sum from left to right so sum up sum prefix sum at this will be prefix sum till this plus value of this cell which is one right so that's why you have one plus one two right so preparing prefix sum from left to right now this is again prefix sum from top to bottom okay so i'm preparing prefix sum from left to right prefix sum from le uh, top to bottom so two steps done and now for each query i'm simply reading the whole range and printing answer from here and how will this work how you are getting the result from prefix sum array in constant time you can see we are doing nothing just taking values from a, a 2d array and then uh, adding them and printing the result right so this is being done in constant time how let me show you so now after performing both of the steps this is your input uh, this will be this whole array will be transformed into this now how will this help us answer queries in constant time you see uh, first of all you need to know what cell ij now represents in this array okay cell ij actually represent the sum of whole cells from 1 1 to ij for example cell 2 4 this one represents this whole sub array sum i mean subgrid sum i should say so this cell alone the value 4 represents the subgrid 1 1 2 2 4 okay and how many ones are there basically what is the sum of all of integers in this subgrid answer is 4 so here you can see in this cell you can find that for, uh, same goes for cell 4 3 which is this this saves 4 it it is having 4 oh, sorry 6 it is having 6 why because the sum of all of the integers in this subgrid basically from 1 1 to 4 3 is actually 6 you can confirm it from here so each cell ij now stores the the sum of the sub subgrid 1 1 2 ij okay so let's see how utilizing this knowledge we can solve the problem that we have right so suppose you have a query from 3t or uh, from 3 3 to 4 4 you have to find the range sum right basically the range sum of this subgrid answer should be 2 right so i'm calling this starting x starting y or uh, ending x ending y right sx sy ex ey right so now i want the answer of this subgrid which should be 2 so let's see how we can get the answer of this using the prefix sum that we have just calculated okay to get the sum of this subgrid let's start by taking the whole sum from 1 1 2 e of x e of y which will you which you can find at the cell e of x e of y right so at the cell e of x e of y start by there now we have all of this we don't want all of this let's start by removing let's remove this part right we don't want this part so you know what is the range sum of this whole part that will be stored here what is the coordinate of this cell e uh, starting of x minus 1 and e of y right so remove that starting of x minus 1 and e of y that is the coordinate of this cell now we have removed this whole part now we have to remove this part how we can do that just think now we don't have any uh, method to get uh, substrings i mean basically range sum of this subgrid we don't have any me uh, method to do that but we have what i can do is that i can get the this subgrid answer right at this cell itself so what is the coordinate of this cell you can see here it is e of x and s of y minus 1 ending of x which is this row and starting of y minus 1 so this is the coordinate of this cell remove that but you would see that this part we have removed two times once when we were removing this subgrid right second times when we were removing this subgrid so basically you need to add this subgrid right this whole subgrid and what is the value of this subgrid uh, you can find it at this cell right and what is the coordinate of this cell it is basically uh, starting of x minus 1 and starting of y minus 1 so starting of x minus 1 and starting of y minus 1 you need to add it one time because this area you have subtracted two times so we need to add it one time so that way you will get the answer of this subgrid so basically to get the answer of s of x s of y e of x e of y what you will do you'll start by taking the whole sub array e of x e of y then start removing two part from left and the above and then uh, the previous part you have removed two times you need to add it one time to make it uh, what you actually want basically this subgrid right so I'll be providing this code in the description of the video. If you still have any doubt or query, simply uh, take an example or uh, use your pen and paper. You'll be able to understand it very easily. Believe me, this is actually easy to learn. It will be difficult, by the way, it will be difficult if you are given point updates, right? You can do that too. 
i'll tell you later how we can do that so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you